Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to uh, have with me here Jennifer Goodwin. Many of you know her and uh, her involvement in sharing knowledge with the people of the world, men and women around the world who um, simply want to get back to organic law and find remedy. That's the yes. We're all looking for remedy in the law. <laughs> and get away from That's the right. legal octopus. So we're trying to extricate <laughs> ourselves from that legal octopus and live with peace and serenity in law. Mm -hmm. So uh, hello, Jennifer, welcome. And uh, I guess we're just gonna talk a little bit about the law common to I. Maybe you could kinda <laughs> give us an idea how you got started in that, how it came about and what people can sure. expect from it, from the course. Sure, sure. Hey, everyone. Glad to be here. Thanks, Mark. And yeah, like most of uh, uh, the, your audience and mine and people around the world, I've been a lifelong conspiracy theorist, right? And uh, I like to just say, if I had to take a title, uh, a truther, uh, I'm always seeking truth. And so my whole path was always, no matter what it, what topic it was, whether it was my career or now this focus, it was always about truth. And so when 2020 happened, you know, the, the, the thing happened, they released the thing on the television. Um, it woke us up inside and I went on a quick journey because that was March. And, you know, I spent the next few months looking, okay, stop everything in my career world let's 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 save the world let's save the country let's help people and i i started reaching out to the constitutionalists and the people who knew more than i did and and you know what are what are the laws and and i just went to discovery mode um and about six months into that i heard this knowledge that i had never heard before and as soon as i heard it it was as if my soul said that's it. That's the missing link. That's when the, the goosebumps came and the hair stood up and, and, the, and everything in my soul just and every cell of my body said, that's, that's what you need to go towards. And I literally sold my house and got in an RV and got on, on the road and beelined it for a bunch of states in the country to learn more about this knowledge. And that was, that was the beginning of me immersing myself in it. So you were just traveling around meeting people, huh? I was traveling around meeting people. I wish it, it, I wish it was ex as exciting as I envisioned and people envision, you know, get on the road and freedom. And, um, but it, 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 it wasn't that exciting. Um, it was actually the hardest time of my life. I, I look back and think when I got on the spiritual battlefield, the enemy came for me and uh, it was difficult. I lost my dog. I had people taking advantage of me. I was alone. So yeah, but you know, we all had things to go through and um, the, the silver lining was that I learned this knowledge um, by discovering the man who was actually at the source of, of sharing it, uh, now a friend named John. And I just, I just called him and I said, I, I have to know this in all my 50 years of, of, learning things this this is mind-blowing so okay. yeah right. yeah well that's uh that's the path that is required sometimes you know people have to go mm -hmm. out of their way and i'm trying to encourage people so much so often to you know get off your duff and get out of your comfort zone you know if you're going to do anything important it's probably going to be a little bit uncomfortable right yeah yeah and, definitely uh, uh, i mean talk to any athlete any world-class athlete how much pain do they go through in training to get to the level right they're at, you know right so, training so. failure uh losses uh injuries all the all sure yeah that's a great example yeah. yep. acquiring knowledge it's uh it's similar you have to sacrifice time maybe you have to sacrifice other activities and Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, your, your brain gets all twisted up and you have to untangle it once in a while. And <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Exercise that muscle. Yeah, yeah. Lose some friends over the conversations. Exactly. It's not comfortable at all. It wasn't yeah. comfortable, but yeah. we so have tell to us, do. Uh, tell us about the knowledge and um, you've kind mm -hmm. of packaged it up into a, a series of sessions, I guess, yep. to help people uh, have a track to run on. And yeah. Tell us how it's structured. 
Sure. Well, you know, um, when I when I met John and I started learning this information and we would have our, our weekly uh, sessions, as you call it, over Zoom, um, I really grasped it really quickly. And and he said, you know, Jennifer, you'd be really great if you could kind of spearhead this in America. He's been working uh, with people all around the world for 15 to 20 years. And I said, absolutely. And, you know, I got all excited because I have a marketing background and I thought, oh, yeah, you know, I can do this and I can do that and I can do this. And of course, he had to put the put a leash on me and pull the reins in a little bit because, again, I had to relearn things. And he said, no, 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 you can't do it that way. You could get in trouble if you keep using that vocabulary. And no, 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 you shouldn't do it that way because you're going to want people to uh, learn this and help themselves. You can't just do it for them and you can't provide documents and templates and all the things that, that everyone else is doing, right? Um, so I said, okay, you know, I took my lumps and learned my lessons with him. And, but at the same time, I had to balance it and deliver it in a way that was comparable to what the other side does, right? We always say the, the other side, uh, I don't wanna give them any labels, but we all know who they are and who we're talking about. The other side is are, are the best marketers on the planet. They have Hollywood, they have TV, they have radio, they have the internet, they have books, they have the educational system. So I was okay putting my nice shiny spin on everything, even when some people you know, come and say, oh, what are you selling and what are you promoting? I'm like, listen, I have to, you know, I have to meet apples with apples here. So the way that it's currently um, delivered is that people can can watch any of our uh, no, you know, no donation, no cost free information and make a decision if they want to go further. And if they want to go further, they can um, donate and and follow along eight weeks of a whole new vocabulary, a whole new mindset, understanding who you are, the power you have, why your rights haven't been protected because you haven't been protecting them, um, how to articulate law, uh, knowing the differences between law and legal, how to express all of that, how to write notices, how to write your claim, how to hold your own court. And this is stuff that court was originally created for. So pe some people say, oh, well, is this something new or does it actually work? This is the way it always was. It just happened that over time, they eroded it or tried to erode it. They can't erase it, but they had to convince us to all move out of that system and into the lower system called legal. But, it, but law still exists. It's, it's, I say law was made by God and legal was made by man and law is at the top of the mountain and legal's at the bottom of the mountain and they have over time moved us into legal. That's a good analogy. So. Absolutely. You know, it goes back to the original hierarchy of order, you know, it goes back God, to the 10 God commandments. Man gave us dominion over the yes. earth. We created government as our agents to help keep things organized. And now all of a sudden, right. it's, God is out of the picture and government's on top of man. So everything's upside he, down. They have completely flipped it in our minds, though. That's the great thing is it's only flipped in our minds. We can flip it back and we can go back up to the top of the totem pole and the hierarchy and we can enforce our law. And, and when, I, when I saw that the whole world has just been inverted, the vocabulary was cloned, the process was cloned, and, and they reversed it. So for example, in law, uh, man is at the top and man's court is the highest court. It's above the Supreme Court, the state court, the district court, the small claims court. It's the highest court in the land. But when you move into legal and they flipped it, well, now they put the Supreme Court at the top and then the state and then the district and then the small claims and then man's on the lowest. Yeah. It's literally reversed. Yeah, it's absolutely. fascinating. Absolutely. So yeah. you mentioned uh, eight weeks. Is that eight weekly sessions once a week? And then they can study with other materials in the meantime, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the way it, the way it works is let's say let's say you dropped off your donation today. 
um, again, that's part of the vocabulary, um, you would immediately enter into a dashboard that says welcome and here's how this works and hey, here's a telegram group that you can join other men and women around the world that are going through the same process so you can make connections in your country or your state or your community. And week one is there right away. And right away, the, the week one audio has homework for you. So right away, you can start practicing on writing notices. And it does that all the way through. Um, at week six, you, you're, you've been loaded up with so much information. And I really encourage people to listen to it two and three times yeah. over that week. And you know that's why we drip it out. We can't even deliver all of this in one shot. Your brain can't rewire that quickly. So by week six, there's actually an exam um, for you to test your knowledge and it's grueling. It probably has I don't know, 200 questions and it tells you <laughs> write, write three notices and a claim as part of your exam. And I mean, it's, it's intense. It, it, was, it was daunting when I did it, but I'm well, so we, glad I went the through it was the process. Be painful, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah. It's, yeah. So it was like, scary to me. And when I got to the other side, I know I wrote a cheat sheet. Okay, this is what's in notice one and this is what's in notice two. And it's super simple. Notices are only this big. Whereas in the in the legal system, they're you know 50 yeah. pages long and they're confusing. Uh, but now I can write notices right from here, which is really the goal. If you got tied up, if you were in, in jail, if you, you know, if you're in in trouble, you need to be able to express your law because law is expressed and legal is implied. And um I'm there, and and I was there pretty quickly, so it's exciting. It's so really what, exciting. Uh, what are what are some people um, able to do with this knowledge? I know there's been people that have used this. You mentioned the notices. Sure. How have the yeah. notices been used, and in what situations? Give us an example or two. Sure, sure. And again, John and and his crowd have been doing this long before I came along. So I'm just another success story that happens to have a big mouth and likes to share information. But so within my own little circle of, of people that I've shared this with, yeah, success stories. Um, let's see the first one. So when I backtrack to when I first started learning this with John, I was probably only 60 or 90 days in. And of course, with my my immediate girlfriends, right, my closest three people that want to talk about this, we're talking back and forth and we're sharing information. And about a month after that, um, my girlfriend Stacy uh, calls me in a panic. Jennifer, oh my gosh, um, some lawyer out of the blue froze $65,000 worth of our uh, construction funds that are in my husband's account that uh, the invoices, you know, we have payroll on Friday, they're building our house, what are we going to do? I said, you can either use legal or you can use law, what, what's written on your heart. And she said, I want to use the law that God, that God gave to me. She's a godly woman as well. And I said, I can't write anything for you. It must come from your energy. If you write it, I will sit down and look at it and offer my feedback. That's the best I can do. She said, no problem. She wrote it in Google Drive. She shared me the document. I looked at it on a Monday night at eight o'clock. I said, wow, you did a really good job. Maybe we'll just tweak this and this. I said, send it off. And she emailed it. She didn't even have time to, to go Tuesday morning to the post office and send certified mail. She emailed it around 10 o'clock at night that night on a Monday to the law firm or the man acting as lawyer. and. By Tuesday afternoon, she's calling me. We could kiss you through the phone. They're restoring all of it, all 65,000 plus non-sufficient fund fees. And based on one little notice that a non-lawyer wrote, sent to a, a team of lawyers who probably have millions of dollars in, in, in school debt, right? Um, and they backed off completely immediately. And I thought, okay, there's something here. And then throughout the next uh, year and a half, two years that I've been involved in this, I keep getting more stories. I have a story where um, a gal here in Florida, her 20 year old son was fighting with the corporate state of, of uh, California and uh, their unemployment department. And they owed him about $26,000 or more. And they had been fighting this for over a year, maybe two years. And they had been fighting in the legal system, writing the paperwork and whatever they were told to do. Um, 
And then she learned this information. She actually went through the eight weeks. Actually, she went through it twice and she was great. She did her homework and she really dug in. And she started writing law vocabulary on their paperwork even, which we don't advise commingling, but she said, what the heck? And she wrote it in their paperwork in the, in the box that says, why do you want a, a court of appeals, uh, an appeal date? And um, immediately the whole system changed. The judge um, did something where when the next time they logged into Zoom for their fifth or their, uh, uh, their court date, um, oh, no, 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 that's been taken care of. Please check. There's no court today. And they went and checked the bank account and the first $18,000 had been moved in immediately. And then it kept going from there to the point where uh, the judge was the man acting as judge was calling her son three times one day saying, here's my direct line. If you need anything, you call me directly and and, and I'll, I'll help you take care of this. So wow. uh, so many stories like this. And this is my own opinion, because I look at everything through energy, right? This this microphone is is vibrating we learned that in school that everything is 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 you know uh, particles that are vibrating and energy and i thought you know what if god's law what if the armor of god what if the frequency of the words that are in the bible are so much higher than the frequency of the man-made words and the man-made legal system that you can literally trump their uh their shenanigans by frequency and wow. that just kind of tied it all together with me and wow. I, i'm still getting goosebumps just saying yeah, it <laughs> yeah yeah i've been studying a lot on that particular topic here as of late and so by uh by bringing that in you're right kind of gives you goosebumps you know when you think yeah of the power the power that you have and that's you know when you use organic law as you said that comes from god it's immutable it's like gravity you can't avoid it Law of attraction, law of gravity, law of allowance, right? Yeah, law yeah, you, you law of man. That and see, yep. the great thing about that is most people live in fear. We all have a level of fear. Uh, we're, right. we're not good enough. We don't know enough. We don't have enough experience. I've never done this before. Right. And so our right. shortcomings lead us to a point where we have fear that we're insufficient in our knowledge or preparation. But mm -hmm. once you can tap into that energy, that frequency, that confidence, that, yes, that God power inside of you, you that fear goes away because you know absolutely your shortcomings are those frequencies that God power in you will take over. And I've experienced absolutely, that. I've experienced that myself in court. You know, I, I, I in everything. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was going through teaching myself sales, um, and I was afraid of sales, uh, you know, and as a, as a prior business owner, I should know how to do sales. Um, and I, I, I was terrified of picking up the phone and doing cold calling. I'll, I'll do warm leads all day long. But I remember thinking, everything I want is on the other side of fear. That was the lesson I learned in teaching myself sales, that the, the first domino is the biggest. And if you can just kick it down, the right. just like a video game, the gems, the rubies are on the other side of that obstacle. Oh. And fear, fear just became a door that I visualized that I kicked down because there's something to gain on the other side. And even in the webinar that I do um, with the free information, I show a slide where Fear is at the bottom of that frequency level and love and confidence and joy and compassion is higher up the scale. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. you know, yeah. they say words are spells and that's why it's called spelling. <laughs> You're blowing my mind now. <laughs> I'll stop. Heard, I'll slow down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it all ties together. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's but yeah, uh, lots of success stories, lots of um, lots of confidence. I get messages all the time. This is the best. If I die tomorrow, I, I will have I will have fulfilled my my God gift because people tell me all the time, you've changed my life or this information has changed my life. Thank you for sharing it. I remember the exact date. Some people are like, I, I first heard you on May 7th and and I just want to be the portal that the, the 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 information goes through. I don't want to be anyone's hero, guru, teacher, oh. trainer. 
None of that. We're, we're just, just all here to share. Just messengers and ambassadors of God's kingdom. Sharing that's right. the good news. Yep. That's right. That's right. Well, that's great. That gives me some really special insights that uh, people just won't pick up, you know, on, on the web page. Mm -hmm. So, so that's, right. that's important. And I'm really glad we had the opportunity to have you share that with us. So uh, with sure. that, um, there's plenty of information that uh, people will have through the emails and the forum that, uh, that I have going with NATF. And uh, we'll look forward to get people informed and, uh, educated with the knowledge and uh, empowered and so let's go out there and start absolutely holding, let's go out there and start holding our own court everybody yes absolutely amen in the land right the highest court in the land let's do it <laughs> okay great thank you jennifer <laughs> appreciate it thanks mark Love bye everyone blessings to you peace and light all right